day late, but not a cassette short. It's time for a cassette story. Normally, this is on Wednesday, but because of family illnesses, it got pushed back a day. My two-year-old was sick. My seven-year-old is still kind of sick, and now my 33-year-old is sick. My wife, so we're just running a little behind, but it's okay. So far, I'm not sick. Uh, my other two kids aren't sick, so. And it's not coronavirus. It's a gastroenteritis. Stomach flu. Because why not? Anyway. It's time for another cassette story, and this cassette story is going to be a little different because it actually takes place later than you would think a cassette story would. I'm talking about 1997. Yes, I was still buying cassettes as late as 1997, and also since 1992, I've been doing a list of my albums of the year. And oddly enough, this was my album of the year, 1997. It is Megadeth Cryptic Writings. See. Featuring trust, almost honest, and use the man. Sometimes we would, if we could get these to peel off the outside cellophane, we would then put them on our cassette cases. Oh, I did. A few of my friends did. Not everybody did, but me and a few friends did. Sometimes I would tuck them in the sleeve, too. But, yeah, this is my album of the year, 1997. It was a strange year. I started the year unemployed. I uh, actually started my job at Marshall Radio, which I had up until, you know, as of this recording two days ago, and yeah, it's got me through uh, part-time hours when I was uh, just working there about this in the summer. I think I got it on cue. Remember on cue? We talked last week about Musicland and Sam Goody. On cue was a division of that. So, this has got the uh, clear case, as you can see. I think it's the original. Yeah, it's got the original case because it's got the sticker on it. The cassette itself. Ooh, this is a nice one. It actually has the band's logo on it, and a lot of them did that see it's just a snap together clear job from Capitol Records and we have the case here yeah, I listen to this a lot in my car driving uh, around got your basic uh, you know, artwork um, band pictures a little bit of artwork is, uh, can you find Vic Rat is Vic Rattlehead even in here anywhere I don't know if he is I kind of shied away from Vic Rattlehead for a while they're like mascot guy Stuff here, very black and white motif. It's kind of a Megadeth thing. Uh, yeah, happy. Always be a little wary of a smiling Dave Mustaine. I always say. So, yeah, this one did not get you know positive. It's not the best album. I mean, as rest in peace. We can all agree on that. But you know, I think it's maybe their second best album. Definitely, it's very good. I liked it a lot. The year it came out, and yeah, I can't remember what other top albums were in '97, but this. This was the best one I'd heard all year. But, does it still cassette? Well, I don't know, Mr. Radio Shack, can you tell me? Just got the clear tape show, so we're going to have to fast forward a little bit. Ooh, that's the opening drum riff of Trust. Yep, it's still cassettes. It's still Megadeth. And Dave Mustaine recently beat cancer, so we'll say today's episode is on review. Dave Mustaine, keep on Megadething for as long as you possibly can. And you know what? We'll do it again next week and see what comes up. But until then, I guess we'll have to redo.